when he got to it. Mean old man. Alright guys, so it's Abigail versus Purgatory Knights. Are you gonna put Jack on this when it comes out? No, it's horrible. It's a bad card. Completely bad card. And if you don't see that just by looking at it, you're a bad player. You need another one of these if you can find one. Because you really need to try and get four. Because this card's just stupid. It's, it's one of the cards that just makes the deck. Total justice gaming. So yours, is, yours is star, so you'll always get the uh, draw card. Where it's top five, right? Yeah. Okay, that's all. Well. This match goes out to you'll Zach Sacks. Oh, my daddy. Start up your own death. Yeah, Nate Palm. So what is it? I'm on top five. Uh, when this card's destroyed, I pay a gauge. Uh, I put it up to the top five cards you've got. I pay the one gauge, the draw two is the star effect. The other one is the legend. Alright, so I'll pay life and call it Jet Black. So do you know what he does? Oh, plus this one, he makes you, uh, whatever he does. Yes, yes, yes. So since he's a one, is it originally a counter effect? Because now it's a one. The counter effect goes off. So no, you can use one of the both. And if you use it, the counter effect. Does he count as a size one and drop zone or only on field? All the dual world spells can be activated from either one to the other one. Okay. I would say that if you have a buddy with Purgatory, it's hard to get a dual spell. I'll assume it's one size. I'll try and get another one of that one. Uh, I was probably supposed to play this first, but that's okay. Uh, Cajun Nightmare. Uh, when I call a black dragon and I put it on top of your deck, you're supposed to drop. Uh, it's a one for turn. Okay. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, when I call a black dragon and I put it on top of your deck, you drop. What's for turn? That's it. Yeah. Some talent arms. This one, buddy. All right. So, end of battle. Uh, Gaito attacks the monster. Uh, okay. Uh, monster. It looks pretty legit, Joe. I'd just try and get another one of those. Go ahead. It should work fine. Yeah. Because this is my, this is like the only Star Dragon World deck I'll probably ever have. Okay. I don't want to have to listen from certain people about, you know, encroaching on the worlds. Oh, I don't even get two shit. Joey doesn't even have the deck anymore. Karen has both the Star Dragon World deck and I deck, so whatever he shot. Take it. And take life. Uh, Soul Sucking Blade. Suck to win. I get suck to win. That's what it looks like. Gotta come up in the world somewhere. Uh, we play no Grand Theft Auto over there. It's Wait, no when did you put the Nightmare Cage in? 20 minutes ago. When you put a monster from your opponent's deck in the desert. Okay. Alright, uh, two to you. Two to you. Go ahead. Alright, it's a good card. No, it is. It's just. See, it was either that or obituary, and I'm not sure which one to use. Take one damage, I get to add on the two birds for you guys. Honestly, I'll go to the store and I'll work and see this. I mean, it's um, so kind of 50 50 right now. So if I have an originally sized 2 perfect tour on my field, it reduces it by 2, so it's a 1. Okay. It's, so it's a 9 2 4 with double attack. Um, and this is destroyed, I can put up to 2 or less, per, a size 2 or less purgatory and it drops onto my hand. So there's two ones on the board. No. Because the other one I think is a 1 2. Uh, puts out 5 and drop. I got pay gauge. And then deal him damage. The okay, sickle. Okay. And uh, you deal one from the weapon. Uh, black cloth blade, nullify the attack, and mill stock part of your deck. Uh, Everybody fight somebody. I was drunk. I never want to do that game again. I won. I won out of the matchup, but like I don't ever want to do that game. It's so bad. Like that was the most dreadful game ever. I can't stand games where I don't have fun, even if I win or lose. I don't have fun. That's just me. Dude, your spells were. Taking away any, any anything. It was uh, I wasn't even working either. Told me to shush, you shush. Deal damage. There you go. I know what he does. Soul seal. Mill top two. That's if you got more than ten. I gained more. That mills the top two. Yeah. I thought it gained. Oh, for my deck. For my deck. So you put those back. Big dummy. Or I just, I just saw mill. So that's my fault. I'm sorry about that. I thought you just gained the gauge. I thought it just no, gains no, no. your gauge. They have to have more than ten, and that's obviously more than ten. <laughs>
Alright, uh, okay, is, two to you. I don't think you're doing that right. No, he is. Two to you. Put the top two cards of your deck into your gate. Wow. Like I said earlier, then um, if your opponent has 10 or more in the drop zone, put the top card of your deck. Okay, okay. Like, yeah, right into the camera. We're, good. We're good, my bad. I messed with the card. Okay, go. Your turn. I can calm down. You don't have to freak out. There's no reason to freak out. I read the card. You tell me I'm wrong. I read You're the card. I'm sorry. That's my fault. So it's annoying. Get over yourself. Uh, oh. No. No. It's a legit question. So you still get the deck first? Yes. Now the question is do you want them all to be buttery or do you want them to be the secret? That's Karen's job. 